Hi everyone, it's Sarah, the owner and creator behind Multifarious Nature. Uh, welcome. If you're a new viewer, I'm so glad that you're here. And if you're a returning viewer, I'm so glad that you're back. And um, let's dive into a shop update, shall we? It's really exciting. <clears throat> so for Memorial Day, I wanted to do something special. And um, I have 20% off select items throughout the website. And they're already reduced, so you'll see that in the pricing. And um, so no code is needed. That is, um, the pricing is good through uh, midnight on the 31st. So um, yeah, on, on the midnight and Memorial Day. So I just wanted to do that for you guys and I hope you enjoy and, um, and take advantage of that wonderful deal. So um, that is the shop update other than the other shop update, which is also a work in progress, which is, the, of course, the All of the Lights Cardigan by Hohe Lucatelli. I screwed it up. <laughs> so I, um, like I said, I, took, I wanted to figure out how to do the pocket area. Um, not only myself, apparently other people got confused by it. I didn't really get excellent direction. So I just read the directions like over and over and over again, and then just decided to go for it. And I knit a couple inches and realized, oh my gosh, I put the wrong, there's a part where you put stitches on hold and I put the wrong stitches on hold. And I don't know why I didn't realize that in the beginning, but I didn't. So I had to rip back. And this is not a fun pattern to rip back on because as you can imagine, <laughs> there's a lot of detailing <laughs> because of all this wonderful cabling, um, lace work, this texture stitch and yeah that was kind of a nightmare to do it took me a minute I kind of had to have a little meltdown and go oh no what did I do <laughs> and then um, I proceeded to finally put the right stitches on hold so you can see um, I didn't make it that far when you look at where my progress keeper is so like it's pretty much just right here so it looks like I basically didn't make any progress however I had actually knit down to here and then had to rip back so basically a whole week's worth of work I had to undo which is a real bummer because that put me behind um, on making progress on this so I mean progress I guess in the sense that I figured out the correct stitches to put on hold <laughs> If, I guess that if you want to call that progress, it's progress. So um, I did see a lot of people saying that the pockets are crazy, like the directions are um, wild, like, wow, how does that work? Just because of, I guess, the construction's unique. Um, it is unique so far. I've never ever done pockets like this. Uh, I haven't really ever done pockets in knitting really at all. I've done crochet pockets on one cardigan that I crochet, but um, that was different the way you make them. So you actually like put the pockets on to a finished item. Um, this is different. <laughs> so I'm not still not quite sure exactly how the pockets are going to work. Um, however, I, I'm pretty sure that I actually did the right stitches on hold this time. And uh, I think that that is all correct because it's the stitches you put on hold are, you'll see, like, right here, there's this little, the, um, braid here. That's the braid that's going to go along the pocket, so. It's, like, crazy. This is a really intricate pattern. Um, I don't want you guys to be afraid of doing it. You definitely should take it on if you want to do something that's going to be a major learning experience. And, um very visually interesting, very technique interesting. Like this is a really amazingly <laughs> detailed sweater. And I just, I just um, I'm in awe of it actually, cause I just, well one, I've never done a pattern. I would love to design a pattern someday, but at the moment that I haven't taken that on yet. So I'm just overly impressed by this pattern. And um, Hoki is, she's wow, very talented. Um, just to come up with this and execute it. And it's um, amazing. But as I said, I can definitely see why you should weave in your ends as you go because 
especially in the top region where there's lots of sections you do individually, there's just a lot of ends I'm going to have to weave in. I don't have a problem weaving in ends. It's just that um, when you're done after a project this big, you probably just want to be done <laughs> and not weaving your ends. So I will get there. <laughs> but at least I know now what I did wrong and I fixed it. So that's good. <laughs> but um, yeah, definite learning curve. <laughs> All the lights cardigan. And oh, and that's using my Scarlet Yarn by Multifarious Nature. So that is that gorgeous red tonal here. Absolutely love it. Hopefully the lighting's okay. I didn't use uh, my ring light. I actually just got back from seeing family, so I'm just trying to get this video done so I can show you guys the progress that's been going on. Um, with the, this being a, a weekend that is considered a holiday weekend, people have longer weekends, so we were traveling. <laughs> so just got back. Um, so next, uh, work in progress is, um, let's see here, where is it? The Pesse Portout. Uh, it is a beautiful shawl by Manel, and I absolutely love this pattern. It's very relaxing. Uh, you can definitely do this while watching TV, and I have made a lot of progress. So this is using two of my uh, Multiverse Nature colorways. I haven't knit with this yet in the cart, uh, in the shawl, but this is the raspberry colorway, Multiverse Nature. I tied up. <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is like coming in and out. My allergies are acting up. <laughs> um, and then this is purple iris. And I don't know if you can see that, but there's gorgeous like navy speckling throughout. And it's kind of hard to see it like this, but I think you can see it better here. So um, I'm gonna hold this visually, it looks upside down because the cable's at the bottom. <laughs> I am using a uh, 40, no, 50 inch cable. And as you can see, there's still some hanging on the ends, but if this was fully stretched out, I definitely would get to the needles on each side. So it is getting there. Isn't this beautiful, guys? I'm so excited. So this is on, um, like I said, it is the, the Silk Merino blend, the 50-50 blend that I have in my shop. And it is that purple lilac colorway. And you can see that it has just this beautiful um, texture stitch in this pattern. And then you've got the stockinette, so you can really appreciate the colorway itself. I didn't want to do a lot of lace work because, especially with a, um, a variegated yarn like this, if you do lace work, it can get kind of lost. And you can kind of see that here in the spine work that's going on. The um, increases when I hold it like this, this is how it kind of looks in the photos, the design. So you really don't see these, this little, like, uh, lace area here. But um, if you have any lace work, it gets a little bit lost when you do um, variegated yarn, just because of all the different colors going on. But this is looking absolutely gorgeous. So I um, definitely have, obviously, a little bit more of this color. I'm thinking I'm going to use the entire scheme, or at least as most of it. The most amount that I can um, so I can do a complete row of course I want to always complete a row with the colorway and then I'm going to switch to my raspberry colorway so that will be at the bottom of the shawl and the progress you can see uh, where is my progress keeper there it is right there so a couple inches Quite a bit of progress. It's really, really easy knit, guys. It's so easy, and it is a free pattern. So I highly recommend it uh, if you're looking for a nice shawl that is very easy, uh, can get done relatively quickly. Like I said, I've only you've seen. I haven't been working on this very long, and major progress. Um, a lot of it too has to do with the yarn. It's super, super silky smooth. I mean, has silk in it. Slides right off the needles. I'm using my Chagu needles, the metals and it just slides right on and off. It's amazing. There's no 
um, major friction when you're trying to knit. It's it's amazing. So it's going super fast, and I'm really excited. I don't. I still don't think. I mean, I would love to finish it by the 12th of June, but I don't know if I'm going to. I'm gonna try really hard. I don't know though. Um, I still have quite a bit to do, but I hope. I hope. I hope I can because I would love to wear this um, to this wedding that I'm gonna be going to on June 12th. So we will see. I hope I can do it. <laughs> I really do. But I don't. Know. I don't know. It might be ambitious. Uh, however. <laughs> I did uh, actually, um, actually first I'm going to go into my other work of progress. <laughs> so the Amelia tank, I'm going to be real honest with you guys, I really didn't um, work on it. See the four projects. I'm telling you, it's anything over three. I, I put one aside and ignore it. It happens every time. Um, I think this next week I will definitely work at least a little bit on it. But this is where I was left last week. So I didn't make any progress um, for the Amelia tank that is a crochet tank. Um, hopefully I will work on it next week and it's by uh, Grace for, for, for the Frills. Yeah, Grace for the Frills is the pattern designer. So hopefully I will work on it this next week, at least a little bit. I'll try to at least do one row if anything. But I'm like I said, I really kind of want to finish that shawl so that I can wear it to the wedding. I hope I can do that. Um, I think it would just be really, really special and nice. And it's a really, really nice yarn. It's so luxurious silk. So, and it's still cool enough in the evenings. This is going to be an evening um, like reception and stuff. So I kind of want that. So I have a finished object, guys. I did it. I worked so hard to um, complete this. It is that Creole Cowl by Leone, Leone uh, Thornley, Leone Thornley, and it is using uh, White Pine, which is a multifarious nature colorway. That is the beautiful teal in there. And then, um, I hope this doesn't get super blasted out, but it's the teal green color you can see in here. And then I alternated it with um, this beautiful variegated blue and black onyx colorway by um, Chick That Knits brand of yarn. So when you look at the back, it looks totally different than the front because it is brioche. I love brioche. This is an excellent, excellent, excellent pattern for brioche, guys. It's free and um, couldn't recommend it enough. Excellent pattern. And um, yeah, this so it's really big. And it's brioche, so it's super stretchy. So you can easily, easily double it up. So this is what it looks like. Um, all doubled up. I got that on the wrong way. Here we go. I'm trying to keep the um, the same color forward, but you can see how nice how nice that looks, and easily like <laughs> cover your face if it's super windy out. This is um, really luxurious. I love that stretchy fluffiness of brioche. It's so amazing. Um, love, love, love this. And this is, again, that uh, Creole, Creole, Creole Cowl. Terrible, terrible pronunciation, probably. Um, but yeah, really enjoyed it. I'm so glad it's done. My goal was to finish it by the end of this week, and I was able to, so that's exciting. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys had a wonderful week, and um, we have beautiful weather here. It's gorgeous outside, cool, so we went down to the beach to not go swimming. <laughs> Definitely not warm enough for swimming. The water here is, um, I think, about 56 degrees Fahrenheit, which that's pretty cool. Um, as a child, I would have gone swimming, but I've learned that being numb is not so much fun, so <laughs> not anymore. Um, and that's Lake Michigan. Uh, for those of you that, that don't know, it was uh, we went to Lake Michigan. So one of the colder lakes. Um, yeah. But uh, tell me below if you did anything special uh, this weekend. I'd love to hear about it. And if you're creating anything, I'd also love to hear about that. So um, I hope you guys are, are doing well. You know, I, I hope you are um, happy and healthy. And, and I hope you are creating. And I'd love to hear about what you're working on. So I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week. Uh, I hope you take some time and just um, 
reflect and um, of course if you do uh, know anyone who has served um, or you you see anyone and hear that they've served um, of course just thank them for their service and their sacrifice um, I've had quite a few family members that have actually served in the military and um, they have sacrificed a lot and some so much um, yeah so just uh, if you do see a soldier please thank them and I know they will appreciate that and uh, again I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week take care bye